Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as I said every Friday I will upload a nail video that's just on a little design tip so it's just a bit shorter but hopefully a little more detailed. So this Friday I have this beautiful marble ombre design to show you. This was my first time ever doing this so it's not as perfect as I'd like it to be but I was really pleased with how it came out. So, and also just quickly, this was inspired by Charlotte Pilgrim as I recently see her do it in a set. So, as you can see, I've just done marble the usual way I would do an acrylic marble. Usually I do start more towards the cuticle area, but obviously because of the design being an ombre, I'm doing it at the free edge. So, same as normal, just wet beads next to each other bringing my brush to a point and then dragging it through the acrylic whenever i'm doing an acrylic marble i prefer to work with a pinched oval brush rather than a round one as i do find they come to a point a lot nicer than a round brush but maybe that's just me so here i'm using my love by cjp brush so once I've got down towards where the, the marble needs to start fading out, I'm working really wet basically, just so I can slightly blend the colours together, but then fade them out, just so that when I come in with my cover pink, there isn't going to be a harsh line of where that marble ends. So this was where it got a little bit tricky as I wasn't fully sure on how to do it <laughs> but like I said it was my first time and I was really pleased with how it come out so then what I decided to do was to just give this layer a thin cap sorry just give this marble a thin cap of clear acrylic so I'm just coming in with a bead of crystal glass Oh, by the way, all the colours I used are from CJP and I will leave them linked in the description box below. So yeah, I'm basically just doing this clear layer because I am still practising, um, you know, I'm still trying to perfect my ombres. So I do find sometimes I pull the pink down a little bit too much. So this way, with the clear being there, I just had that little bit of reassurance that if I pulled the pink down too far... I could swipe it away without it affecting the marble but then luckily it all went fine anyway so I'm coming in now with a more from CJP and I'm just placing that first bead down just to start creating um, the fade over the marble and then I'm just coming in with my cuticle bead pushing that up into the cuticle area and then fading that over the last bead and then I do just come in with another few small beads here and there just to really perfect that blend. Um, and just so I'm 100% happy with it before capping it in clear acrylic. So also whenever I'm doing an ombre as well, I try to make sure I build my apex up with that core colour that I'm using um, just so that when it comes to capping I usually just like capping the blend area and down towards the free edge slightly that's just my personal preference though I do just find that easiest So once I am happy and have finished faffing around with this now, I will leave it to set just ever so slightly and then I come in and cap it in crystal glass. So all the acrylics I've used here are from CJP and I'm also using their ultra adhesive monomer here. I have also got their new monomer which is called the one and that is actually really really lovely to work with. But for these little design sets, I was just trying to use up my ultra adhesive. So I'm just making sure that when I'm capping this nail, I'm making sure that all the acrylic is as smooth as possible. 
and as even as possible so that I haven't got super loads of filing to do. I then did all the filing and buffing off camera and gave the nail a quick dust in. And then here I'm just coming in with my CJP tack free top gloss. So I do go over the nail a few times with this top coat and that's because there was a tiny little hair stuck in it and I was trying so hard to get it out but you can't see that on the camera it just looks like I'm top coating then top coating some more and then a little bit more but yeah um, once I have finished top coating the nail I'll pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So if you enjoyed watching please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. I shall see you all again soon. Bye bye.